Okay, now、um, let's take a look at this example. You have four universities, four DMUs,、um, A, B, C, and D. This is the data sheet that you see.、Um, you have two inputs and two or three outputs, and the, sh the data are set in、um, this way. And here you have the weight lamped. Um, I use the one zero and zero. You can actually do、um, one, 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 and then you have this is called efficiency. This is the、um, the thing that the efficiency score、uh, in there. And what we need to do is actually to、uh, put formulas on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So I'm actually going to、uh, to speed up the process. Going to switch to the sheet that has the answers in there. Okay,、um, so let me just do this.、Um, change that to one, one, and one. And you can use any number. Now remember these weights, these four weights, because you have four universities, one for each university. So you have four、um, decision variables or four changing cells. Now, if you look at the model carefully,、um, in this case, the、um, the objective function in this case is actually a decision variable, a changing cell. So in here. Um, you can type in any number. Let's say you can do、um, two.、Uh, once the you know the solver solves, it, it will give you the optimal solution there. Now, what's different from、um, the the models that we've discussed in the first class or in the linear program problems in there? The objective function usually、um, has a formula, but in this case,、uh, it is a formula in a sense, but it's only a decision variable. Um, so you only gonna、uh, so you can view this as, as equal to one times theta times theta.、Um, so you can do、um, you can just need, but you need to put in the value in there. So when you go into the solver,、uh, what you need to do is you need to select these four cells as the changing cells and another one. This is the objective function. So the objective objective function is both a changing cell and also.、Um, Uh, is the objective function in, in the sense there's no、uh, real formula to use, just a、uh, decision variable. Now the left hand side, let me just double click there, and you see、uh, I used a sum product.、Um, a sum product is actually a very convenient formula to use. This is the same thing as if you look at the model. On your paper, it says、um, the first input times the first weight plus the second input times the weight plus the third input times the weight plus the fourth input times the weight. That's the first input for each DMU.、Um, this sum product does the same thing. So what you do is you basically select these two arrays and it gives us the results. So now, let me just do some. Sum product. So that is the、uh, first array.、Um, in, in the formula, I actually fix the,、um, uh, the reference in there, but you don't have to do that actually. So you just do that, and you would do the same thing、uh, for the se、um, second input. Um, and the first output, and you will do the rest、um, outputs. Now, the right-hand side in this case here is the the theta, the efficiency score times the, if the input. And if you go down to the next one, that's the efficiency score times the second input. And this, these are just the 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 output values. So, but don't forget, you also have this the sum of all the weights, the lambda. Okay, as equal to one. So once you set up that in the sheet, you can just go to the tools.、Um, and so now I'm using、um, Office 203. So if you're using Office 207, you can get the、um, the solver、um, under the, the the data table. So this is the model that I have.、Uh, this is the target cell, which is a changing cell, as you can see from here. And you try to minimize it. And these are the 
the constraints, the input constraints, the output constraints, the sum of the weights is equal to 1, and then you go to the options, and I always check these three boxes. Um, because we are uh, solving a linear programming problem, so you, you always do assume linear model, and all the decision variables are now negative. You click OK, and you click Solve. And this is the, um, the solution. So that means uh, the uh, University A um, is efficient. Now, if you want to solve uh, for University B, uh, what you need to do is actually the left hand side does not change, okay? It stays the same for each um, university, but the right hand side changes because now um, you have the first uh, university, now you need to change that into um, the second um, DMU. So, um, this is already solved actually. Um, so if you look at it here, um, so what I have is the efficiency score times the uh, the first input value of the the MUB, the University B. Um, this is the efficiency score times the the uh, second input of University B, and these are the output values. And once you set that up. Um, and you can go to um, the tools and you know try to solve it now um, since the only thing that we that need to be changed um, are, um, is the the right hand side this side so what I would suggest to you to do is to copy the entire sheet copy the entire sheet um, when you copy the entire sheet over you can use a move a copy um, not the copy in the in uh, that you see in here, but you need to actually, uh, my screen doesn't show you that, you need to right click on the uh, the sheet and you will uh, have a choice whether to copy or move the sheet. When you copy the entire sheet, the solver model that you've built um, for um, University um, A is also copied over. So um, all you need to do is to change that and when you go into the um, the solver, you don't have to ch uh, change anything, you just click solve and you will get the um, the solution. So um, the same thing for um, University C um, and D, um, the, the, the procedure um, is the same. Uh, the only thing that I would like to point out is that the objective function is just a change in cell, that's the efficiency uh, score.